Welcome back to the channel, Mac Music Review, in case you didn't know, um, trying to be centered here. Um, today we're going to be looking at a Pogo album, in case you don't know, in case you've never heard of him, why are you watching this review? Um, Pogo is a, like, EDM electronic music producer who all, basically all of his music comes from samples from Disney movies and old movies, a lot of anim, old animated movies. And he kind of takes these samples and he, um, he makes it into an EDM song with clips for movies or not necessarily EDM, but it makes it into electronic music track. He has a few tracks, which don't, um, use all of, but all of these samples and that are more like original pieces but um is pogo the album that we're looking at today is ascend ascend was released in 2018 and it was recommended to me by amazon music i've never heard of pogo literally never heard of this guy and then amazon was like hey you might like this album and i was like i like the album artwork i still do like the album artwork i checked it out and over the years it has become one of my favorite albums of 2018. I was truthfully sold on the album the minute I heard the beautiful, textured, multi-layered soul shine, the opening track on this album. It is such a good song, um, mixing these samples and these sounds, and it, it really just sounds, just, it just sounds great. The next track, Likes, takes on a completely different tone and sound in what's trying to be more of like a bass heavy kind of club banger. Let me just let me just play a couple seconds because otherwise And then like in the middle of the song you get this cool breakdown. And then you get this cool part like at the end, which I mean, I don't even know what a breakdown is. I said there was a breakdown in the middle, but listen to this part at the end, guys. The way the vocals are mixed and the way the song pulsates and everything, it, it kind of gives me a uh, Caravan Palace kind of vibe, but like, um, if Caravan Palace songs were just movie samples, maybe they are. I don't. I don't know the origins of the Caravan Palace samples, but um, I like this better than Caravan Palace. Most of the songs kind of follow in the vein of Soul Shine or Likes. Either they're bangers or more commonly on this album Ascend, they're more um, kind of try to be beautiful and wholesome, like Boy and Bear, which is Winnie the Pooh samples and stuff. Um, you also have some more strange moments on the album like take those pills a comedic interlude type of track that's very short which is um very heavily recommending medication to the viewer to the listener in the form of like a commercial it's comedic and it plays over pretty well the album has two awkward spots in the second half of the album and those are carpet ride which just is mixed kind of awkwardly and the vocals are kind of weird it's from aladdin and it's it just sounds kind of it just didn't go it, it just wasn't constructed very well it wasn't put together very well and then unicorns which is a slower moment on the album which is samples from despicable me and it's really just kind of odd and it doesn't really capture any good vibe that it tries to when the other slower songs on the album and the songs that are supposed to be more emo emotive like she or release or purge work very well this one just doesn't i like this album a lot and Carpet Ride and Unicorns are really the only songs I can fault it with. Besides that, I think it's really great. Um, I like this album a lot, guys. The vibes are there. Uh, it's an album that often is just very beautiful and just very calming and soothing. And that's really what why I keep coming back to this. It's just an album that puts me in a better mood mentally. And um, it's, just, it's just really nice music. And I've listened to it hundreds of times, I feel like. And I'll keep, and I will keep listening to it, but, um, I'm going to give it four stars out of five for whatever reason. I don't, I don't feel like going higher than that because I don't feel like it's like 
amazing. And like I said, there are two tracks which I don't think are great, but I do really, really like this album, and it definitely is one of my favorite albums of 2018. Link that video in the description. What do you think of Pogo? Have you ever listened to Pogo? Do you like Pogo? What? Do you dislike Pogo? Like, I mean, the guy almost has a million subscribers on YouTube. He might at this point. I think he's had 900,000 something. But I hope he gets to 1 million because I like this guy a lot. And, you know, I hope he keeps putting out great music. His album Cultures, released at the end of 2020, had one of my favorite songs of 2021. I'll link that video in the description as well. Good song called Mazel Tov. Amazing song called Mazel Tov. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Have a great rest of your day.